हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर आयुषी श्रीवास्तव सो रात के बारह बज रहे हैं ऑलमोस्ट और मैं इस वक्त ये वीडियो इसलिए रिकॉर्ड कर रही हूँ क्योंकि घर में सुबह से uh, बहुत अग्रेसिवली दिवाली की सफाई चल रही है एंड आई हैव नॉट बीन एबल टू फैच माई सेल्फ इनफ टाइम टू यू नो रिकॉर्ड दिस वीडियो बट आई रियली वॉन्टेड टू टॉक अबाउट इट टू डेट सेल्फ सो आई थिंक बेटर लेट द नेवर सो रात के बारह बजे सिंस घर में uh, काफ़ी शांति है और यू uh, नो you know, इस टाइम पर रिकॉर्ड किया जा सकता है तो मैं इस टाइम ये बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो रिकॉर्ड कर रही हूँ सो इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट एम बी बायो केमिस्ट्री वट काइंड ऑफ करियर ऑप्शन इट ऑफर्स एंड वॉट आर इट्स रियल प्रोज एंड कॉन्स सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम लेट्स कम टू द पॉइंट कमिंग टू द फर्स्ट थिंग एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट आर मेजरली आज दैट हू शुड एक्चुअली गो फॉर एम डी बायो केमिस्ट्री सो माई आंसर वुड बी वेरी बेसिक एंड यू नो दैट समबडी हु हैज इंटरेस्ट इन लैब वर्क एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग डिजीजेज एट अ मोलिकुलर लेवल आई थिंक दिस ब्रांच इज फॉर दोज पीपल दैट पीपल हु फाइंड इंटरेस्ट मोर इन रिसर्च वर्क एज कम्पेयर टू द फाइनल आउटपुट राइट सो आई थिंक दिस ब्रांच इज फॉर दोज पीपल ऑल्सो इफ यू ऑल्सो एंड ऑब्वियसली समबडी हू प्रेफर्स अ बैलेंस्ड एंड यू नो स्ट्रेस फ्री प्रोफेशनल लाइफ इट इज फॉर वन इट इज फॉर दोज पीपल सो कमिंग टू द प्रोज ऑफ दिस ब्रांच माई वेरी फर्स्ट पॉइंट वुड बी first a very stable academic career as i've already mentioned earlier in my uh, previous videos that the demand for faculty has been you know substantially increasing in medical colleges especially uh, with the opening of so many new medical colleges be it government or private so with the you know demand of uh, faculty um, non clinical faculty in such colleges and with the lack of supply of the same i think it offers you a very stable academic career and a stable job um, so i think that is one of the most important pros that this branch uh, provides uh, so you can have a stable long term academic career uh, starting as a demonstrator then assistant professor moving on to um, associate professor and professor the second important point would be excellent work life balance no emergencies no night duties no patient loads uh, you'll have fixed working hours weekends free in all in like most of the cases and ample time for your family or personal interests so i think that is one of the most important points that, that this branch and the other non clinical branches provide a uh, third point would be you can also get various research opportunities in icmr aims drdo and pharmaceutical research teams you can also get appointed as clinical biochemists in many such research institutes or pharmaceutical companies you can also pursue dm in genetics clinical hematology or metabolic medicine and go forward in these respective fields as well you can also work as a biochemist or lab director in hospitals or private labs uh, supervising biochemical tests maintaining quality control and interpreting diagnostic results next if you are research inclined you can pursue a phd abroad work in biotech or pharmaceutical companies or move into clinical research and mo molecular biology uh, so coming to the cons of it uh, so uh, coming to the cons and uh, so coming to the cons uh, one of the major cons of getting into a, a non clinical field is as we all know you know no direct patient interaction uh, you know you will not get the satisfaction of treating the patients out of their illnesses but here i would uh, you know i would want to uh, talk about for a second and that is i think from a very early age uh, when we start dreaming of becoming a doctor uh, during a school days in uh, itself uh, we basically dream of treating patients out of their illnesses right we dream of treating them uh, you know giving them medicines or you know uh, operating them or something like that but a doctor is so much more than that i think Uh, and at least as medicos we all know that uh, behind every patient who gets treated uh, during their illnesses there is a silent army behind the cur curtains you know who is doing their job at the best of their capabilities uh, uh, behind the scenes without getting any credit for the treatment uh, so the major difference between the clinical and the non clinical field is the glamour the non clinical walo ke hisse mein basically glamour nahi aata par iska matlab ye bilkul bhi nahi hai ki aap contribute nahi kar rahe so i think one of the most uh, you know important cons and one thing that actually uh, pushes people away or you know uh, just just jiski wajah se log katrate hain non clinical field lene se is not having the satisfaction of treating patients and that is i think 
बहुत ही अंडरस्टैंडेबल पॉइंट है सो समबडी हु इज लाइक वेरी पैशनेट अबाउट यू नो द क्लिनिकल साइड ऑफ द फील्ड जिसमें उनको डायरेक्ट पेशेंट इंटरेक्शन चाहिए दे इंजॉय दैट और उनको उससे रश मिलती है उससे किक मिलती है तो आई थिंक दिस इज नॉट द फील्ड फॉर यू बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली यू लैक दैट इन दिस वन नेक्स्ट मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट वुड बी द सैलरी यू नो देर इट सो द नेक्स्ट मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट वन इट वुड बी द सैलरी uh you know in non clinical fields and uh, so the next most important point would be the salary uh md biochemistry offers a modest initial salary uh, as as assistant professor you earn somewhere around 90000 to 1.1 lakh uh, per month uh, followed by associate professor of uh, 1.5 to 1.8 lakhs per month uh, followed by a professor which would be two and above सो आई थिंक मोटा मोटा स्ट्रक्चर ये है ऑब्वियसली प्राइवेट कॉलेजेस विल ऑफर यू अ स्लाइटली लेसर पे सो दे इज दैट एंड थर्ड वुड बी इफ यू आर नॉट जनरली इंटरेस्टेड इन रीडिंग एंड रिसर्च इट माइट फील मोनोटनस आफ्टर सम टाइम बट यू नीड टू बिकॉज यू नीड टू थर्ड वुड बी इफ यू आर नॉट जनरली इंटरेस्टेड इन रीडिंग एंड रिसर्च इट माइट फील मोनोटनस आफ्टर सम टाइम बिकॉज यू नीड टू स्टे अपडेटेड विद यू नो बायो केमिकल टेक्निक्स एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट सो आई थिंक इफ यू आर नॉट रियली द काइंड ऑफ पर्सन हु इज अ लॉट इन टू द रिसर्च प्रोसेस ऑफ ऑफ यू नो दिस फील्ड देन आई थिंक इट विल बिकम रियली मोनोटनस फी यू बिकॉज यू नो वो एक्स्ट्रा यू नो किक नहीं है इसमें नेक्स्ट वुड बी सी पीपल मे नॉट से इट आउट लाउड बट आई वुड स्टिल वॉन्ट टू यू नो मैंशन इट आउट योर एंड दैट इज लेस रेकग्निशन यू आर नॉट रेकग्नाइज टिपिकली एज अ डॉक्टर अमंगस्ट कॉमन पॉपुलेशन एंड इवन विद इन द मेडिकल फैटर्निटी देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ डिस्क्रिमिनेशन राइट विच हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट अ लॉट आई थिंक एंड सो देर इज सो मच uh you know even within our fraternity there is so much less awareness of what is the role of a uh, md biochemistry person so i even uh, i would also include myself into this that i had to do a lot of research on uh, you know the various fields uh, that you can go into after doing md biochemistry or what are uh, the different paths that it opens doors to so i think uh, my, as myself included i was not at all aware of uh, everything uh, that in, uh, that a person who has done md biochemistry does and what is typically the role of a person who has done uh, post graduation in this field uh so i think uh, that is one of the major cons that i wanted to mention here that there is a lot less awareness um and i think less recognition uh so uh, you know i i hope and i believe that this will change with the uh, coming uh, time and uh, you know as our field is growing and as our fraternity is going i'm very sure that this will change uh, in the next 10 to 15 years but for now this is what it is so considering that you'll have to carve your own niche and build credibility through your work right so once again i would like to give a little salary overview of the various positions in this field because i think that is the most important part people look for uh, so as a ap uh, your salary would be around 90000 to 1.1 lakh per month um, uh, then uh, associate professor which will be 1.5 to 1.8 lakhs per month followed by professor uh, which is two or more maybe 2 to 3 lakhs per month uh, then if you work in a private lab or in a pharmaceutical company or if you're into research field then it may vary from 1.5 lakhs to 4 lakhs depending on your position and the kind of field you're working in also i would like to address one query that i've been uh, getting in my videos again and again uh, that people uh, not from the medical fraternity uh, people who have not done mbbs and maybe they have done uh, bsc or msc are getting appointed as in uh, you know uh, as faculty uh, in different medical colleges to treat the mbbs students Uh, so yeah that is an unfortunate situation right now uh, see i am not saying ki wo log uh, you know wo log deserve nahi karte ya wo deserve karte i do not know i do not know the kind of syllabus they are taught or wo kitne learned hote hain so i do not want to comment on that but yes i would always say that you know uh, to uh, agar aap mbbs ke bachcho ko padha rahe ho to the i think uh, faculty ko kam se kam mbbs to kiya hi hona chahiye at least that's what i believe in and what i have researched about it is because of the lack of uh, you know uh, people people uh, with uh, with the degree of md biochemistry you know not a lot of medicos go into that field so because of the lack of supply uh, wo um, you know msc biochemistry ko uh, you know chance dete hain 
to uh, get into these faculty positions so i think uh, uh, because aapke paas wo clinical touch bhi hai kyunki aapne mbbs kar rakhi hai to aapke paas wo clinical touch bhi hai so i think um, and what i've heard of is that if you go for jobs in medical colleges of course you will have a, a an upper hand uh, when compared to a person who has not done mbbs uh, in getting that job so be rest assured uh, believe in yourself uh, believe the in the fact that if you've done something you are best at it and that nobody is going to you know snatch it away from you uh, so thank you so much that's it for today i'll see you in my next video with another non clinical branch uh, and you know uh, different things that that branch offers and what are the different uh, cons of that branch as well so thank you so much keep supporting so if you found this video helpful do not forget to like and agar aap yahan tak aaye gaye then do not forget to subscribe and also share it with someone who is a bit confused about getting into this branch and what does this branch offers in the future so i think um, this might be helpful to them thank you so much keep supporting i'll see you in my next video bye